So we want to understand the physical process by which this... Leak this is Jeremy Smith. In layman's terms, he researches new drugs, but not in the traditional lab sense. Jeremy uses a supercomputer called Jaguar, a computer that is 18,000 times faster than the fastest PC on the market. It could be thousands of times more powerful than the fastest machine that someone might have on their desktop. These large-scale machines are really used to simulate the world around us and to understand the world around us. We can no longer just use theory and experiment to advance science. We use simulation to really understand things at a level that we can't get at experimentally. At Jaguar's home, the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee, Jeremy and other researchers are doing just that conducting groundbreaking research in fields from medicine to weather research to new forms of energy. We're working on nuclear energy. About 20 percent of the electrical power in this country comes from nuclear energy. And those nuclear plants are starting to age a little bit. And so we're working on trying to develop a new set of uh, modeling and simulation tools that will allow us to recertify those plants and then also uh, to be able to develop new nuclear power plants that will be more efficient. And Jaguar's not alone. There are hundreds of supercomputers around the world, with K-Computer in Japan holding the title of the fastest. But that may change over the next few months after an upgrade to Jaguar is completed. We have Jaguar, which is the Department of Energy and the United States' most powerful computer for open science computing. Uh, and it can run about 2.3 quadrillion calculations every second, or 2.3 petaflops. We can move that data at about 250 gigabytes per second, which is way faster than the fastest internet connection you've ever seen. This amount of power and speed can have a lot of real-world impact. Research and experiments that would have taken months or years can now be accomplished in just a few days. By screening millions of drugs with millions of proteins, we hope we'll save them a lot of time that they would have spent doing expensive uh, experimental text testing. So we'll not only be able to find out the possible targets for these molecules, but all the side effects as well and in a personalized way. 